Today is Monday the 12th of January. I'm tired, I'm a little hungover, and I'm absolutely gutted. But to be honest, above all, I'm genuinely proud. And a massive shout out to Gareth Southgate for Waste no Carly. A massive credit to Gareth Southgate for carrying the flame of anti-football all the way to the final. But luckily for you lot, the summer of anti-football isn't quite over yet. City, Everton, United and Liverpool this episode. If we can get a single point from that, I'm throwing this everywhere. Just seen there's this journalist here called Ollie Hughes from Football Whispers. I don't know why, but for some reason I've just got Badil and Skinner singing a careless whisper in my brain. And I, I don't know if that's weird. I assume so. Yes, there we go. Rice has finally come to his senses. He's finally realised that there is no greater club to play play for than West Ham. Following an improved run of form lately, we've won like one game in the last 10. Whatever makes you happy, Declan. Okay, now we got Delft dropping a 5.6 in training. Let's have a word. I'm disappointed with your lack of development in these recent months. I mean, he's, you know, he's only 31 years young. He's, he's still got a long career ahead of him. Oh no, no ball. Oh, he's still suspended for another game. The boys have only had two days off since that win against Wolves, but you know what they say, rest is for the week. They're ready for Man City away. I've once again set up with that five at the back, one to make sure that we can just hoof it up to Antonio, and secondly, just to make sure that absolutely nobody enjoys the game. Noble's unfortunately suspended for one more game, but Lundstrom's gonna come in as that box-to-box -box mid, and Antonio caused absolute havoc amongst the uh, Liverpool defence the other game, so he's gonna be starting as that lone striker. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we can have him. I don't genuinely believe that. <laughs> oh yeah, and Loton's back, although he's not fully matched fit, so we'll see how long he lasts. Ball, ball, so much ball. Go on, Lundstrom, run him down. Why is he tripped there? Okay, this attack's been going on for about 20 minutes now. Can somebody shoot? <laughs> Sake. Again. Oh, what, that Foster? I am once again switching to attacking in full betrayal of uh, the series. We are actually limiting them to shots from outside the box for the most part, which is kind of, you know, what we're going for. But we've not had a single shot or half. You know what, I'm gonna risk it. I'm switching back to a 4-4 into. I want to have a single West Ham highlight to show for this game. We got an Antonio throw in. Look at them all in the box, they're ready. They want blood. Oh, Bowen's actually got space there. Dawson Lundstrom, Cresswell, Loughton. Oh no! Oh, I thought that was a Loton masterclass. We've had a shot! Yes! Southgate, if you want an assistant manager for the World Cup, then I'm right here. I want to see us score a goal if possible. I, I think it's entirely possible. I mean, it's entirely possible with Barnes racing through and... Oh dear, Lundstrom. Oh! Oh, Antonio launches one. Oh, Barnes is free! Oh, he's messed it up! That could have been it. But, uh, <laughs> it's a shot on target. Clear progress out. Go on, Antonio, get ahead. He's gonna clip that up to Barnes. And, I mean, is that Lingard who looks like he could race through it? Oh, he scored! Go on, Lingard, yes! Where's that come from? The cripple has done it! He's limped through on goal and he's managed to score on the break. Get in! Lovely little counter. There's still hope yet. I'm gonna bring on Danny Simpson. You know, if anyone's gonna take the game to Man City, it's gonna be Danny bloody Simpson. Go on, counter again. Go on, Townsend. Go on. Oh, Barnes, he's actually got a bit of space here. Oh, another, another chance. A 2-1 loss to Man City, though. That's very respectable. And it's given me faith that the 4-4-2 can actually work against the bigger teams. So, uh, 23 shots to 7. We've got no creativity in the side whatsoever. What do you mean? Kicking footballs at Craig Dawson's forehead counts as creativity. The next game is against Everton. And if we're going to win one game this episode, it's going to be this one. Who do you think is going down as we reach the business end of the season? <laughs> because Spurs. <laughs> Why is Allegri, uh, who is apparently the Spurs manager, just gone out of his way to respond to me saying that Spurs are going going down? Apart from winding up Spurs, it's been a pretty uneventful week and the team, they're ready for uh, Everton away. This is a bit of a must-win fixture because we have some very tough competition coming up. So naturally, I've gone with Ryan Shawcross in defence. Noble's well-rested after his suspension, so he's back in midfield. And then it's back to Dini and Barnes up top with... Wait, hang on. What am I doing? Sorry, no. Antonio, you're, you're starting on the right, my boy. I'm sure Link Guard will be coming on later for, for somebody, but until then, let's see what we can do. <laughs> I love watching Deany try to run after things, like he's just never gonna get there, but he tries his little heart out. Ooh. Oh, oh, what a ball from Foster. Now look at Bowen, he's gonna fade in Antonio, he's in. Oh, Pickford saves. Another Everton corner. Oh my goodness. Oh, off the bar. Go on, get it, get it out, get it out. No, Hammers, no, no. <sighs> Damn it. Come on guys, England have just lost the final of the Euros. I don't need this. Yeah, really not been on it today. Don't really know who to single out, but oh my goodness. You better be offside, please be offside. He's not offside. Go on, Antonio to launch one. Oh, Barnes, go on, you gotta score that, please. 
Oh no, oh no, oh my goodness, what a save. Oh, duh. oh my god, that was so bad. That's so bad. Stop! Give them a moment for pity's sake. Come on. Stop attacking us. No. Oh, go on, Jesse. Oh, he's found Barnes. Oh my goodness, he's hammered it. Look at Townsend go. Oh, he's found Lingard on the left. He's going to whip one. Antonio wins the header. Oh my goodness. Townsend's just hit the side netting with like an edge of the box header. you got to respect it. Well, that was a bit wasn't it? Noble dropped a 6.0, no! Well, there's only one thing for it. Oh, what, what, okay, right. Remember what your therapist said, Oliver. Don't get angry at the virtual team. <laughs> <laughs> a bad day at the office then. Yeah, forget that's his first name. Just imagining his parents at the, at the christening just being like, he will make a fine patriot. Oh no, <laughs> dropping so much. We were trying to get back into Europe and now I'm just hoping that I don't get sacked before I can finish the series. Man U are 35 points ahead of us. Do we really have to play them? Wait, what? Man U signed Aaron Ramsey. If he scores against me, I'm gonna be absolutely heartbroken. Actually, United, they've been a bit sloppy recently. I mean says the team that's got one win in I don't even want to check. Oh great, I see the Sun have managed to make it into the social feed. My hopes really aren't high for this next game, but we're gonna give it our all nonetheless. I know this exact team just got smashed by Everton, but we're gonna ignore that. I'm pretty much playing the exact same thing, but I'm bringing Jones in for sure, Cross. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how far Barnes has just slid there. He wants blood. All right, Williams is uh, pretty much just run uncontested. Oh, are you actually, how did he run the entire length, length of the pitch without a single tackle being thrown in? What, no, 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 no. What's <laughs> <laughs> what Antonio doing there? He's just lying on his back like he's in a coffin. Oh no, Williams with another chance to cross. No, Greenwood, oh my goodness, what a save. Foster's kept us in it there. Stop, what is that? What is up with this? Who is, like, Cresswell? How is he just leaving Williams to be, you know, alone for this entire game? And there goes, there goes the second goal. I think he's gonna take a bit more than demanding more, isn't it? Come on, Teeny. Burst of burst. Well, he's just left the ball behind him. Oh, what a pass from Jones. Go on, go on, Lings. Go on, Lings. Oh, don't tell me that was a shot. Well, that's not been the best half, has it? Honestly, not really sure what to do. Troy Deeney is in danger of being booked. I expect nothing less. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to say go for the second half and see what happens. Oh, Donny van der Beek's been allowed to play some football. <laughs> oh, don't, man. Cavani, he's 35 years old and he's got him behind our... Okay, yeah. Again, our somewhat aging defence. <laughs> what was that? This series is just incredible, isn't it? To think that this was just pretty much standard football like 20 years ago. No wonder all the Yadars are so angry all the time. Like they had to sit through this for their entire lives. Yep, the West Ham fans are leaving. Oh, Cresswell's got a bit of space. Oh, what a hit. This is our first corner. Oh, that was a chance. I swear that's our first corner of the game. Okay, maybe it was a slight mistake to play the exact same team that just got smashed by Everton. Honestly though, like, Man U weren't that much better than us, if you look at the stats. That makes that one a bit harder to take. Oh no, we're down to 11th. And again, the fans are not pleased. Let's hold a team meeting, shall we? I've gathered you all here today because you're awful. At least Noble's happy, that's that's something. Yeah, I've decided to go and have a look. We've won one game in the last 11. Just out of interest. Okay, we're, we're a good 13 points clear of relegation, just in case. It's actually just so heartbreaking because the start of this series went so well. We had such an easy run of fixtures and we managed to actually win them all. Then we played some actual football teams and it all went wrong. And for the finale of episode 8, we have Liverpool at home. To be honest, most of my first choice players really haven't performed this episode, so I'm, I've decided I'm going to switch some of them out for some of the second choice players. Gonna see if they're hungrier and maybe wanted a bit more. So in defense, Cresswell's really not been so great, so Rose is gonna come back in, and then Shawcross, uh, who's actually somehow, he's actually on an average rating of 7.1, which is more than everybody else. I've brought in Cork and Townsend in midfield, and then I'm gonna try a strike partnership of Barnes and Rodriguez. Deeney's just really been a bit lackluster this episode, so maybe he just needs a bit of time off. This is a real chance for some of these second choice players to, uh, you know, really see out the end of the season and get a run of games in. Right, one last game. Let's go for it. Oh, forgot about Matip and Van Dijk just being absolute monsters in the air. He's driving down the wing. Can he get a crossover? Surely not. Sure, surely that wasn't a Barnes header. That's gone so far over. Oh, good to, oh, go. Dear. <laughs> Again, conceding absolute belters. Look how far out he is here. 
Right, that's a good 30 yards, and he just has absolutely blasted that into the top corner. Their first two shots on target, and it's 2-0. Well, that was a bit of a disaster class, wasn't it, everybody? Gonna bring Lingard and uh, Rice in. Look, again, Shawcross is somehow on a seven here. How has he managed that? What, what's everybody else doing? <laughs> like, okay, what, okay, Foster. Getting off Spina flashbacks. Just saying, if we had Antonio, this would be a completely different game. Oh, it's four. Of course it's four. Corner. <laughs> Go on, Noble. Oh, can't even give me that, can you? Bowen? Oh, yes! One back! It's hard to celebrate when you're 4-1 down with 15 minutes to go, but at least none of the Liverpool players get their clean sheet bonus. Bowen to whip one in, perhaps? Oh, he's beating his man. Go on, Barnes! Oh, come on! You're, you're inside the six-yard box and you've headed it over! I think the moral of the story here is... No, there's no real moral, is there? We're just bad. There we go, we've managed to go an entire episode without picking up a single point. I mean, I was never really expecting to get anything from the games in this episode, but it's still disappointing. Credit to all of you who have made it this far and actually stuck with me and the team, despite, you know, L after L. Hope I've managed to get everybody on screen here, but another massive thank you to all of you patrons. Got a couple of new members down there, including Super Hands. Thank you very much to whoever that was. Once the series is over, I'm gonna be getting the best frame so I can put it in the background of all my videos for all the world to see. But anyway, thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.